I brought a copy of a German book. It's by Rilke. The publisher is Reklam. The cover is plain. Mm -hmm. It's just a color. And if you go to German bookstores, at least parts of them, they're actually organized by publishers. Yeah. You probably know other countries in Europe like in, sometimes. Like in Italy too, in France. And yeah. the books more or less all look the same. How do you feel about this system? I love them. So you would opt yeah. into this system? Yeah. For all well, of I mean, your books. I, I talk about that in the book. I mean, I talk, the whole piece is a kind of, you know, meditation on the idea of wearing a uniform and and dressing yourself and how this, you know, these contradictory. Uh, approaches right to, to 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 presenting oneself what they mean um it's like you have to make a statement about where you've decided to rest in the on the identity question and a cover forces your hand in a way you'd rather be hovering in this ambiguity yeah i mean i i prefer i prefer this kind of cover because to me there's a protective quality to the lack of specificity and the, and the and the belonging to the the you know the series which is what Europe you know I mean in in the U S you have certain series as well and um, in fact I was thinking I mean I wrote the essay when I was in Rome and I was far away from my American library and my books and things but now that I'm back here and I unpacked a lot of my books um, I mean there are certain presses here that that have that aesthetic philosophy um you know city lights books makes those beautiful little books of like my copy of allen ginsburg's howl and etc i mean these are beautiful books um american books that all kind of looked the same similar dimensions have a kind of sober quality um a lot of emphasis on type um so I won't say that it doesn't happen here, but I think for like the average writer and the average publisher, it's a very different dialogue that's happening when it comes to putting a book, uh, putting a cover onto a book. And um, and so I think if I had to choose, I would choose that the safety of the uniform because, of course, I mean the the whole piece, the whole little essay, whatever begins with a with the memory of being a child and being traumatized by having to dress myself um, because it just churned up so many problems uh, and, and was a source of true anguish for me as a child to have to put on my, to choose clothes and put them on. And this has, this has economic ramifications. This has um, cultural ramifications. This has all sorts of ramifications because clothes are, you know, things we buy in stores and et cetera, et cetera. Um, and I, so I had this sort of crazy, uh, you know, um, envy, admiration, envy, obsession uh, with my cousin's school uniforms in Calcutta um, because they were all the same. And they just put on what they had to wear to school every day and it was the same thing. And I, and I dreamed about that. I dreamed of being able to wake up in the United States and just putting on my blue skirt and my white shirt and my black shoes and going to school and nobody um, commenting on what I was wearing um, because I was always so terrified because people were always commenting on what I was wearing and, you know, either teasing me or whatever. Um, and, and, and so in that sense, you know, I think there's this kind of, you know, where do you stand between wanting to express yourself and be free, you know, and, and, and being afraid of that freedom? Um, and being being actually vulnerable to that freedom. Um, I mean, I, I think America represents freedom with a big capital F, and it always has, and we hope it always will for the good. Um, but there's also the danger of that in that, you know, I mean, even as a young girl in the 70s, as a kid, immigrant, you know, child of immigrants, I knew what it meant to shop in one store versus another store. I saw what the girls in my class were wearing, the kinds of shoes, the kinds of purses. I knew that my parents weren't taking me to those stores, that they thought that was a waste of money and that we're not going to pay all of this $40 for Nike sneakers or whatever it is because it's a waste and you're going to grow out of them in six months. You know, whereas my other schoolmates had these things and suddenly there was the gap between me and them, reinforced by these things. Mm -hmm. And I think for a child at least for me, these things were traumatizing. Um, and I imagine for others as well.